Hello YouTubers and YouTubees, North Coast T here. Today we're working on a 2001 Ford Ranger. More specifically, removing the bedside. Tools needed for this job are pry bar, flat blade, Phillips, 13 millimeter, a little pick or a small screwdriver. You need a seven millimeter. You need a T27, a ratchet extension. If you want to remove the bed itself, that's a T55 to remove these big, there's six of them in the bed. And there's one here, one here, and one up front and same on the other side. So the tricky part here is you're also going to need a 730 seconds. Now what's really weird, I got two Ford Rangers. One is an 01, one is a 99. The driver's side has 730 seconds bolts. Like this. And the passenger side has just a slightly bigger at 7 millimeter. These are the bolts I'm talking about. Here is your 730 seconds around this and all the screws in here that hold the side panel onto the inner fender well. On the driver's side, they're 730 seconds. On the passenger side, they're seven millimeter. So you wanna remove these, drop that through the hole. You got five in your bed rail there they are covered with these caps that's why i use the pick tool for to pick off the caps and then um it's the t27 that goes down inside there so you remove those five along your bed rail and you can pull your bed rail off and then you got more T27s. One here, here, there, and there. Four more underneath the rail. You got one, you gotta remove your tail light with the Phillips screwdriver. And then you got one hidden here on the bedside and one down here on the corner of the bedside. Then you're going to go around here to your step, stick a flat blade or pry tool right in here. It pops up on the outside and then those little hooks hook in the back two holes back there. So you want to lift up and out. And then you'll find two more T27s under here. Uh, one truck had two T27s and a 10 millimeter. I think it was up here. And the other truck just had two T27s. So, not sure what you'll run into, but you might need a 10 millimeter. But don't forget the bolts under the step. There's uh, a lot of videos I've seen out there. Well, actually, there's not many videos on removing a bedside, but they missed uh, the bolts under the step. Usually, your step metal is completely rusted out. So, you don't have to worry about taking them out. But when you go to put your new one back in, the screws will hit the rusty metal. So you want to take out all of your 730 seconds around here. Now you can leave that mud flap attached. That's what I did. I just pulled out, I'm not even sure you needed to, but I pulled out the one long screw that was here. And then there's a metal bracket on the bottom of the mud flap on the back that goes up to the bed. That's your 13 millimeter. So you pull that off. So you do that on both bed sides, underneath the step, underneath the tail light, by the back bumper, your one bracket under there, and then all the way around your wheel well on the outer edge. If you're pulling off the bed, you don't have to do all this. You just disconnect this and the six in the bed and 
then you also have now if you're just removing the bedside you don't worry about this but if you're removing the whole bed you got to take out the liner first and there's two bolts per corner the t27 that hold in uh, the little tie downs so you have to pull all those out and then the bed liner will come out so you just do that and then you need your t55 for the six bolts underneath. Now you will need a long pry bar or uh, I don't know, a jackhammer, something to get those out. Cause, and you're gonna pray that they break and then just buy a new kit. Then you also have this plug right here. It's on the driver's side. Um, that goes to your whole tail light harness. So you got to unplug that and then you can lift this bed right off of here. So, whatever they, they need all these for, I'm not sure, but make sure you don't miss the ones in the tail light at the bottom of the fender there. And then under the step is definite because they don't talk about the one behind the step. And then that metal bracket, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can kind of see it in there. It goes from the bottom of the mud flap up and then bolts in the bottom of the bed with a 13 millimeter. But that's only if you're pulling the side off. If you're pulling the whole bed off, you don't have to remove that. You're just removing it from the truck. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a great day.